Okay, so uh, we're at Citadel Landing Cellars and we're transferring the Sauvignon Blanc from the uh, fermenting barrel or tank into uh, another tank. So it's uh, it stopped fermenting about uh, two weeks ago. You can see it's still pretty mucky. Um, so one of our strategies now is to get it out of this tank and into another tank. Observe yet more hose, which I've got in our patio well. You're probably wondering why I'm putting it out in the patio well rather than the wine cellar. Well, the uh, white wines actually need to be chilled quite a bit after they're fermented. Otherwise, uh, crystals of, uh, well, it's called uh, potassium bitartrate. It's basically the tartaric acid in the wine precipitates out at cold temperatures in whites. So we um, get a jump on that step and force it to happen in the winery rather than in your bottle in the house when you put your wine in the fridge. So that's what we're doing. They're going to go out here. It's supposed to get down to, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, minus three or minus four this weekend. Perfect temperature. And, uh, okay, yeah, so that's our little pumping situation down there and some uh, control equipment so I can turn it on and off without actually reaching down. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a mess. But uh, it's actually cleared up quite a bit since uh, fermentation stopped, and uh, it tastes quite nice. A little bit of it in the in the glass there that you can see. Um, it's still a little bit sharp, and uh, a part of that's owing to the uh, the acidity of the grape. Sauvignon Blanc tends to be a high acid grape, so that's another nice thing about chilling it and taking out some of that potassium bitartrate. That is actually the salt of the tartaric acid. In other words, it's going to remove a little bit of that tartaric acid and we'll end up with a mellower wine. Anyhow, so that's what we're doing tonight. It's uh, November 18th, and uh, we're at Citadel Atlantic Cellars, and we're transferring Sauvignon Blanc.